What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today we've got another Coach Jackets video for you, but this time a bit more higher end, a bit more premium designer. We've got three brands, Stone Island, Power Jumpers and Canada Goose. We're gonna go through a bit of a haul. There's five jackets in total, but these ones definitely are of a really high quality. So bear that in mind for the price tags, the really premium materials used. And obviously these brands have been going for years now and they're super, super popular. So let's get straight into the video, guys. If you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to drop them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And I'll link all the jackets in the description so you can go and have a look down there. So when I did the puffer jackets video a couple of weeks ago, a lot of you guys were saying, can you do the same sort of video but for higher end jackets? So I thought I'd get it involved. All these jackets are over 500 pounds. So just bear that in mind, but we'll start off with the first one, which is from Para Jumpers. I think last time I tried these on was maybe 2018, three years ago. The quality of these coats are insane, to be fair. I'll emphasize extra large. We'll see what the fit is like. This one, I think, retails at, I've got the tag in here. I managed to get this one for 542 pounds on Tasuti, but it was 20% off at the time. So just bear that in mind, but the quality does feel really, really nice. Nice color as well, isn't it, like in the gray? Let's try it on. So this one is called the Cloud Puffer Jacket. I'll tell you what, it's really, really nice. You know when you just try something on straight away, it feels luxurious, it feels premium quality. This one does, it's got the, the little sleeves there, which I think is a nice touch. Sometimes when the puffer jacket just ends like that, it's a little bit annoying. You can't keep all the warm thing, can you? A hood as well. Really nice quality hood. I don't know if I could get away with maybe a size large. Obviously in jackets, you don't want them to be too tight because maybe you might want to wear a hoodie underneath, but with jackets like these, you tend not to wear something underneath because the quality of the down in the jackets is like really, really high. So even if I just wear this for like 30 seconds in here, I'm going to be roasting. I'm going to be really, really hot. Zip pockets everywhere you look basically, which is a massive plus for me. You guys know I love my zip pockets. Overall, it does just feel like a really high-end, high-quality jacket. A little brand in there. Let's zip it up. So it zips all the way to the top as well. It's like the hood and the funnel neck kind of comes into one. It does honestly feel just really, really good quality. I'm a massive fan of it. I feel like uh, Power Jumpers kind of goes under the radar a little bit as well. Like the the big brands like Montclair, Canada Goose, they're the big two you'd kind of probably go for. Even Stone Island's bigger as well, massive at the minute. And then you've got Moose Knuckles as well. There's a few other brands, but Power Jumpers, really good quality. So the next jacket we've got, guys, is from Stone Island. As you can see, we've got the typical logo on the left arm. This again is just from Tasuti, £650, this one. Um, you can tell straight away this is definitely more of a lightweight jacket. So this is just a quilted down jacket. But I tell you what, it keeps you warm. I just put it on, I feel hot already. Literally so hot. But this is, it's quite nice. Um, I got for a size large. I went for a size large in this. And if it does fit me quite well. It's a bit snug, quite snug. XL I think would be too big because I think stone iron sizes can sometimes run quite big. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad jacket. 650 quid, really high quality, the finest down. That's what Stone Island says on the inside here. It says like the finest down injected straight into the jacket. It's actually mad I think how big Stone Island's got now with all the celebrities and every, everybody wearing it. It's definitely more of a snug, slim fitting jacket. So if you're in the market for like a, a lightweight down jacket, this one could be for you, but if you're more of a puffer jacket, you want it to be a bit bigger, I think the Power Jumpers one is the one. I think I do prefer the Power Jumpers jacket. Um, yeah, this is just a bit too slim. So moving on to the Canada Goose jackets now, we've got three Canada Goose jackets. I always struggle to say Canada, 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 Canada Goose for some reason. God knows why. Anyway, this is the Highbridge Base Funnel Neck Jacket. And this was £825. I decided to get a size extra large again. Um, but I feel like I definitely could have got away with a size large. I feel like I'm an idiot, you know. 
in the previous videos, I think I even fit into a medium. So I don't know why I just didn't get large. But anyway, the XL is a little bit too big, but regardless, it's an unreal jacket. I know it's expensive, 825 quid is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, that is a big amount of money, but the quality Canada Goose uses is very, very good. Like really luxurious materials, keeps you so warm. I feel so hot in this already and I've had it on for like a minute. Yeah, I really like this. Let's see what it looks like zipped up. Even with these jackets, why are the zips so hard to fucking do? Literally, I've had a problem with all of them trying to do the zip. So obviously funnel neck because it comes really high, that's very similar to the Parajumpers one. The zip pockets come very high as well. A very big zip pocket that. It's got like two different individual gaps in the pocket as well. It's like got a bit of a shiny um, finish to the inside of the coat, which I quite like. The pockets are huge. But yeah, we could put another coat inside them pockets probably. Put another human inside there. Carry your baby around with you like a little, you know, a kangaroo pouch. Really nice. I'm a big fan of it. I just don't know if it's 825 quid's worth, do you know what I mean? A lot of people do still buy Canada Goose just so it's got the logo on the left arm. But I can get where they're coming from. It is a really nice high quality coat. Just if you've got that money to spend, do you know what I mean? Quite a bit. Before we get into the next jacket guys, just wanted to let you know that the Sulfit Clothing Black Friday sale is now live. There's up to 50% off across the full site and we've got loads of new releases on there. We've got these brand new Infinity Joggers, what I'm wearing here, you can't really see them but I'll put a little video on so you can see them but honestly, a really nice pair of joggers for any occasion basically. In the gym, going for runs, if you just want to wear them at the weekend, really really nice. And we've got loads of other stuff on the website as well. So make sure you go and get involved. The biggest sale we've ever done. And there's very limited stock available. So go and get involved. But let's get into the next jacket, guys. So another Canada Goose, Canada Goose jacket we've got is the Armstrong Down jacket. This was £795. Again, in a size extra large. This one has the hood as well. Really, really nice, to be fair. Very nice. I think this one fits me better than the previous one. The extra, extra large in this. It's definitely not as big as the Highbridge base or the Highbridge one then. Very ideal. It's a very nice jacket. Again, it's gonna keep you very warm. One thing I don't really like is this, this bit here. I do like these cuffs usually like you've seen on the other ones, but this one feels a bit more like, I don't know, like a bit more like a base layer, under layer. They need to be not as tight, I'd say. And they're a bit too long as well. Really, really long. So this must be for when you're trekking up mountains and you can put like your hand through it like that when it's really cold you know what I mean not just for going to the shops in the UK it's not never gets that cold really does it to be honest if we're being real about it you only really need these sorts of jackets really don't you when you're in minus minus temperatures like Russia Siberia somewhere like that Antarctica Alaska not in Manchester really people do just buy it so they can be seen with that Again, can't even do the zip, what the fuck? Eventually we'll get there. Comes really high as well, it's really lightweight, which is quite nice. This one doesn't have zip pockets. Hmm. It's a bit suspect that, you'd expect zip pockets, come on. Not the press studs, you want the proper zip pockets. It does have a bit of a fleece lining, which is nice, but you need the zip pockets. So guys, the last jacket we've got is another Canada Goose Highbridge Base. The other one was the Highbridge Funnel Jacket. This one is the Highbridge Base. This is the one where it's got the hood in the actual collar. Um, and I think I prefer this one. You know, it's a really nice and lightweight jacket. It's not as expensive. I think I do prefer it when the hood isn't attached to the collar fully. You know, and then when you put it over and it's like all, all in one, when it's just a bit detached and it comes out of this bit here, you like it just looks a lot better. I really like the nice high neck on this funnel. I think a large would fit me perfectly. The extra large is a little bit too big, so just bear that in mind. If you are gonna get like a Canada Goose jacket, maybe stick true to size or even go down a size. Um, but yeah, 595 pounds. It's definitely my favorite one from Canada Goose at least. It's got the zip pockets as well, really big zip pockets. It's the one. 
You know what, I think this is the first jacket I did a Canada Goose video on years ago. Um, and I'm gonna try and do a video where I compare Canada Goose to a few other brands like North Face. I feel like North Face are really good jackets for the price. Um, Napa Piri, I think that's how you pronounce it. Their jackets are really good as well. You've got a few other ones like Barber, Burberry, a few ones like that. We'll see, we'll see what we can do anyway, but yeah. This is definitely my favorite one from CG. I'm just gonna say CG from now on because I can't even pronounce Canada, Canada Goose. They keep saying Canada, Canada, Canada Goose over and over. Try it. Honestly, it's pretty hard to pronounce. So guys, that is going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Some really nice jackets in this one. A bit more of a higher end luxury designer jackets video for you because a lot of you were asking. Um, I might actually do a best puffer jackets video, maybe under 500 pounds, but over 100. So maybe in that bit of a sweet spot between 100 and 500. I feel like 200, 300 quid is maybe like the perfect price for a jacket. When you start to go over that, it's just quite expensive, isn't it? Like eight, 900 quid for a jacket is ridiculous. Even if it is good quality, it's still really, really, really expensive, isn't it? Like always as well, I'll link all the stuff in the description so you can go and have a look down there. And don't forget to check out the Sulfur Clothing Black Friday sale, the best minimal menswear and some really good offers on there, guys. Anyway, like always, guys, I proper appreciate the support. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. See you later.